Hello guys, welcome back to Hearthstone. So, uh, let's check out quest. Right, so, uh, actually, uh, our quest isn't that good, right? Because we really don't want to complete the 40 gold quest. Uh, although we do want to complete the 60 gold quest, but, uh. So, uh, let's see what we will be doing today. Alright, uh, I haven't shown you guys this deck yet, right? Alright, let's just play it. Alright, oh, wait, 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 almost forgot. <laughs> I always uh, forget to do this, at least for the first two videos, right? I forgot to show you guys the deck list of what I actually put inside my deck. Okay, so let's check this deck out. So this is uh, Reno Demon Lock. So, yep. So obviously it has Reno inside and it has Demons inside and it has the big finisher of Blood Reaver. So let's look at this deck. First is Dark Pact. Okay, I'll explain Dark Pact later on, right? Uh, first we have Flame Imp, it's a demon. Uh, great stats, 1 mana, 3, 2. Uh, Cobalt Librarian, uh, it's a new card and I want to play test it. The Kari Sacrifice I'll explain later as well. Mortal Call is a good card draw and uh, it's a ping. Power Overwhelming, uh, it can trade up into bigger minions and it's just generally good for Warlock. Void Walker, so Void Walker is a demon, it can be summoned back using Blood Reaver. Defile is a really broken AoE clear, especially with the Tainted Zealot, because it counts for uh, the first two times it uh, procs, it counts for two damage each, so it's really good. Next will be Drain Soul. Uh, so the the problem I had this deck, uh, I had with this deck, this deck when I started playing was that it had problems surviving the early game, right? Which explains the Dark Pack, as well as the um, Drain Soul. So this is why I included these two cards over here. Uh, next will be the Vulgar Homunculus. Two mana, two four. It's one of the new cards I want to try it, uh, as well. Uh, Im Gang Boss. So Im Gang Boss is. Uh, uh, Black Rock Mountain, I believe. So, and it works really well default because you you just keep uh spawning one one demons for you to kill. So yep. So you can there's actually a in gang boss default combo. It's like a bot clear up to four health. So it it's pretty good against jade. <coughs> I mean, if the jade starts at five, like so, like if it starts at the five five jade, you can actually use in in gang boss into default. Right, to clear off all the jades. Because jades will just increase from 5 health to 6 health to 7 health. <coughs> yeah, all, all that. Next is Sense Demons. So we have a lot of demons in this deck. So we want to make use of Sense Demons to draw them out. Shadow Bolt is a uh, clear. Cataclysm. Alright, now now we'll explain the Lakari Sacrifice. So um, I really want to try uh, Cataclysm out. Right, it discards your entire hand. So... So uh, I was thinking, why not just put in the Lakari Sacrifice you know, as a, as a fail-safe. So let's say your opponent has is, is obviously a hit. So you just play your, um, what's it called? Your Cataclysm. And then you have your quest active. So even though you discard your entire hand, you still have the quest ready for you, uh, after you after you clear the board. So let's say you're at turn 9, you can immediately play the quest. Oh, sorry, you can immediately play Cataclysm and then the quest, right? The 5 mana uh, quest reward. <clears throat> so that's that. Uh, next we have Crystal Weaver. It buffs all your demons. It's uh, it's a good pair with uh, the Blood Reaver, right? <clears throat> uh, next we have Hellfire. Hellfire is a good clear. Hook Reaver. Hook Reaver is good when you are below 15 health. Right, yeah. Kazakas is obviously here because, you know... It's a single turn deck and we want to make use of that as much as possible. Uh lesser and how, how do you even pronounce this? Ah uh, screw it. Uh this spellstone. Uh we have a lot of self-damaging cards here. We have Hellfire, we have the Vulgar Homunculus, we have the the Librarian, right? So we keep damaging ourselves. So this oh sorry. Uh this card will keep getting upgraded. So it eventually turn into a seven damage, seven health life steal. Right? Void Caller, it can help us cheat out our bigger demons like Doomguard, 
like the dread inferno like the abyssal enforcer yep so possessed lackey is uh is it, it has the same concept as void caller except that it draws from your deck instead of your hand so you you remain uh you you maintain your card advantage while while while, while you summon or cheat out a bigger demon we know it's obviously here so that we can last longer so we have uh so we can progress into the late game right because this is a late game centered deck next siphon soul siphon soul is a we need a heart remover in this deck so we just put in siphon soul it looks to be the only warlock heart removal so far yeah that doesn't have any downsides uh ragnaros ragnaros is our alternate win condition twisting nether it's a uh, in case we don't draw cataclysm right yeah so blood river will obviously bring back all the demons that have died this game <coughs> all right let's just start the video uh this will be in wow format so yep Alright, so how we play this deck is that we toss the Lakari Sacrifice, right? We don't actually want to play it on turn 1 because uh, it's a 1 card, card disadvantage, right? So we don't want a uh, 1 card disadvantage. We want to, we want to draw it, uh, <coughs> we want to draw it from our deck uh, when we draw Cataclysm as well. So it's like a Frost, Frost Nova uh, Doomsayer combo, right? Except this time we get a permanent portal instead of just clearing the board. Okay, so let's tap here. It's probably a uh, what's it, what do you call that? A big priest. And big priests are really popular nowadays. I don't actually have a big priest because I. I wait. It's not a big priest. Hmm, what is it then? Oh, it's a dragon priest, alright. That's fine as well. So, we shadow bulk because this is a quite important target to clear. We don't want him to keep playing uh, cheap, cheap spells. <coughs> and Hellfire will clear this uh, dragon over here and whatever he plays next turn. Alright, so we might need to go for a Hellfire Clear here. Alright, he decides to treat, which is uh, okay, I guess. So we'll just go ahead and. Hmm, should we be greedy here? It doesn't really matter, right, if we are greedy slightly. Yep, okay, let's just end the turn. The problem with Im Imgang boss is that it summons a, a lot of demons, so it causes Blood River to bring back all the trash 1-1 uh, one, one demons that you really don't want to bring back. Right, you want to bring all the big minions like uh, this, the, as well as the Dread Inferno. Oh yeah, I, I don't actually run the 3 mana, oh sorry, 9 mana, 3, 9, cause uh, I'm, 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 uh, I, don't, I don't have any dust left. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the actual reason, I don't actually have any dust left. Hmm, Cataclysm, alright, we've drawn it. Uh, let's see over here. So we can... Uh, I think the play here should be Hellfire. Yeah, Hellfire, let's go. Let's kill this. <coughs> oh, it's a chicken. Okay, it's not a, it's not exactly a very good target to kill with that card. 
but then we'll go uh we'll go ahead and play the hook griever yeah it's the warlock's version of a uh, four mana seven seven I mean when the 4 mana 7 7 came out for shaman it's it, it it was really really good so I don't see why this card would wouldn't be plus it doesn't have the drawback of a of a what's it called it doesn't have a drawback of a overload so it's even better but arguably the overload isn't isn't actually that impactful as well because uh because you you proc stuff like your tunnel trucks and yeah you you activate your tunnel trucks, all that good stuff. So I guess it's not that much of a drawback as well. He decides to clear. I think we'll have to play a Reno next turn. Oh, did he misplay? Yeah, I think he misplayed. Yeah, we'll we'll have to play a Reno here. If not, we we'll just die. Okay, we got our uh, Lakari Cataclysm combo. So, what we're tr what we're gonna try to do now here is that we're trying to we're gonna clear all of our our quote unquote important cards. Okay, it doesn't matter. He misplayed again. I think. Just what? <laughs> okay. I mean, he made the same mistake twice. So, of not having a dragon in his deck and playing a, a dragon synergy card. It's not very smart of him. Alright, so same as usual, we'll throw away the Lakari sacrifice back into our deck. We'll leave the shadow boat because we might need a good clear early on. Oh, but this is pretty bad though. <laughs> Maybe you should have a uh, Lakari sacrifice so that we can play Cataclysm on turn four. Yeah, we have like zero minions to play, which is obviously not very good. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, we might we might go the. Uh, cataclysm into clear everything play. We might do that. I don't know. I mean, all all these cards are pretty trash, right? To be honest. All right, he plays a twilight whelp. Hmm. Okay, so let's think here. If we I think we should coin into Cataclysm, right? Or would that be too rushed? Hmm. Yeah, let's say we coin into Cataclysm. It'll be on next turn. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and the 5th card to this card, which is not... Oh, yeah. So we should tap now. Okay. In case we want to uh, coin Cataclysm. <coughs> So we actually have 6 cards to discard instead of uh, just 5, so we complete the quest. Hopefully the next card we draw isn't like something important like Reno Jackson or Kazakus. Then we should be fine, I think we should play the Cataclysm. Yep, okay. Uh, should we... hmm... Yeah, okay, let's just play Cataclysm here. <clears throat> Pretty sure we were playing against the same guys just now, though. Okay, we completed the quest. This is like the earliest someone has ever completed the quest or something. Turn 3. And a radiant. Unfortunately, we can't really respond. Oh, maybe we can. Yeah, we can respond. Uh, that's a good response.
yeah, if we left the radiant elemental unchecked, it might be slightly scary. <laughs> yeah, we, do, we don't want to do that. Alright. Okay, time. Oh, nice. That's really good. So we can uh, tap to our heart's content now to draw back all the cards that we lost. Okay, Shadow Visions. <coughs> Vulgar Homunculus. Okay. Actually, if I were him, I would have buffed the uh, Draconate Operative. Since buffing this would just make it get killed by two of these imps. Yeah, the infinite. Uh, actually, if you actually get this uh, quest to work, it's actually is uh, it's quite a huge. What do you call that? It's, a, it's quite a huge board presence. Oh no. Yeah, but we can live with that, right? And we'll just keep summoning imps. Yeah, the, the problem with this quest uh, initially when it came out was that uh, it was too slow, right? You, you could only finish it by turn 7 at the very earliest. So if that, if that were to happen, oh, he's trying to kill me off fast. But like I said, if, if that were to happen, you, the value that you gain from this quest isn't... It's almost negligible, to be honest, right? So... So yeah, that's why this this quest wasn't really really good because uh the value that it gained you was too low. You will only sustain the portal for around three turns before you either a one or b uh your opponent kills you because you took too much face damage. Okay, we won. <laughs> I guess we also only uh, sustain the portal for 3 to 4 turns, right? But then, I mean, we won because of the portal, right? That, that's why we won. Uh, yeah, I mean, in the past, you didn't really depend on the portal to win, right? If you won, I mean, if you played the portal, you have, you have either already won, even without the portal, or you've, you've just lost, right? Because you took too much face damage from tapping, right? Yeah. And also putting Reno in that deck was just absolutely stupid because you just discard Reno. Okay, same as always, we're gonna throw away the Lakari. Uh, Dark Pack will actually throw away. So the reason for us throwing away the dark pack is because it doesn't have any early game application, right? We, we're only using it for a late game heal. If you think about it, dark pack is sort of like a... What do you call that? It's the old uh, GBG card, the antique heal board. Yes, that card. So it's like a one mana version of that card, except that you... Except that instead of uh, summoning you at 3-3, you actually kill a, kill one of your own minions. So we're gonna hand draw some demons here. Oh that's a uh, pretty good oh these are these two are pretty good draws. We just need the spell stone, right? <laughs> just need to draw the spell stone to make full use of these two minions. It's probably some form of big druid. So yeah, this deck really makes full use of Reno Jackson because, uh, I mean, you, have, you heal back from Reno Jackson. Raven Idol, okay. Yeah, this because of Reno Jackson, we are able to play more aggressively with these two cards. You, you will just summon a uh, Panther here. 
Oh look, a Zarkus. We're gonna create a 5 cost spell because we want to play it next turn. We just want to absolutely crush him. Hmm, 5-5 five, five, or give your minions plus 4. I think we'll play the 5-5. Five, five. And then we'll pick the 5 damage. That seems good. Now we'll kill this off. And we hit the face. <coughs> yeah, Doom Guard over here is not very good because we're afraid of throwing away Reno Jackson or Blood Reaver, which we really don't want to do. Take time. I think it's time. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, let's play the Void Caller here. Because instead of uh, playing the Doom Guard, we actually want to pull out the Doom Guard out of our hand. Because we don't want the Battle Cry effect to trigger. So I, so I valued the playing Void Caller more than the Kazakas Potion. Ah, okay. It's a good thing we didn't play the Kazakas Potion. Actually, would it have mattered? No, we'll, we'll just trade this in, right? Yeah, we, we will. Unless we draw a Demon. Alright, we drew a demon. Whoops. But I guess cheating out either of the demons wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. I'm I'm actually not I'm actually quite okay with that reason that with that uh with the outcome. So I just tap. Ah, we got cataclysm. But we don't have we, we we don't have access to the Lakari quest yet. And plus we really don't want to discard this hand. Still has uh, these two guys over here. Okay, so... Looks like he played the Death Knight. Still a bit... Uh, I still don't know what he's actually playing at this point. Still a bit confused. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and kill one of kill one of the scarabs, and I guess we'll tap, right? Cause uh, I think we want to play Reno Jackson soon, before we actually play the Blood Reaver. Okay, he's he split the curator. We can remove that with the six five over there. Okay, he's gonna gain some armor. That's fine. He's just prolonging his death. And we play Ragnaros and make him suffer. Hmm, we might actually want to play Blood Reaver before Reno Jackson. Does it actually matter? It doesn't, right? Druid actually has heart removal in the form of uh, Mulch or Naturalize. Oh, I guess he doesn't need a heart removal. Okay, cool. He somehow got King Crush. Okay, what's he gonna do with 3 attack? He's not gonna do anything. Okay, I have no idea what the Druid was, but he had the hero, I guess. He didn't actually play anything. Is this the same druid as just now? Oh, it is. Cool. Alright, we're gonna throw away everything except the mortal coil and the sense demons. Oh, we drew blood reaver and the lackey. Alright. That's fine. We already have some early game going for us in the form of these two cards. Oh, what's that? Okay, we drew Kazakas and a Void Caller. So we're probably gonna sense demons this turn. Wait, next turn. Uh, let me think about that decision first. So next turn we're gonna have nine cards. If we sense demons, we'll go up to ten. 
Hmm. Yeah, sense demons isn't unless we want to burn one card. We have a one in twenty two chance of burning Reno. Wait, do we? Yeah, we do. Or we could just throw out the coin. I guess it's not that important. Or we draw into flame imp. Or void walk. Yep. Okay. That's the play. Yes. Okay, then next turn we'll just play the Void Caller and hopefully we can we are able to cheat out the 7 mana 6-6. Six, six. <coughs> Maybe you should put more big demons. Maybe it's time I crafted the 9 mana 3-9. Alright, so, but the bad thing is he doesn't yet have a minion on the board. So we're gonna have some trouble activating the Void Caller. Okay, looks like he has a minion on the board now. So we'll pull out the Abyssal Enforcer. Yep, okay. Let's trade, trade, and then use the Mortal. Then I guess we will either Kazakas or Crystal Weaver. I think we'll leave the Crystal Weaver to later. So we'll Kazakas now. We'll get a 5 cost. And 4 health seems good since we have the advantage here. Um, our minions that died this game are pretty trash and armor doesn't really matter since we're Reno somewhere in our deck. So let's pick that. 5 damage is pretty good. He still has Torasan in his deck. Hmm, okay, cool. Summon two scarabs off of that. So we're gonna go ahead and play this. And we kill one of the uh, scarabs using the potion. Give our minion some good health. And then we kill this. And go face. Hmm, we could probably do Lackey next turn. Right, cheat out our other demons from inside our deck instead of our hand from the, uh, at, uh, as in the case of Void Caller. You'll probably pick the Scarabs. Yep. Hmm, interesting. So I think we can do this and eat it right yes let's try and eat it let's see what we get oh that's a pretty terrible outcome the best case scenario we could have uh the best case scenario was us pulling out doom doom caller oh, not doom caller doom guard yeah okay we have that So we either wreck the rose and hope he hits it, or we can crystal weaver. I think placing wreck the road. Oh, sorry, crystal weaver into buff. I I don't think we'll do either though. Let's just try the uh shadow bolt and then clear it manually. Oh no, we should play the. Ah. Okay. Okay. So we'll have to clear this manually. Yeah, we misplayed. We should have played the Tainted Zealot. So that we increase the spell damage of the uh, Shadow Bolt. But it's fine, it's fine. It's, it's not that big of a misplay. Okay, Starfire. That's very interesting. What's he gonna do? Swipe? Nope, rough. And that's fine as well. Yep. 
you know, I have no idea what this druid is doing. We'll just go ahead and play our Ragnaros. And the next time we can play our Blood Reaver. Uh, the problem now is that we have too many quote unquote useless minions on the board right now. Maybe we should have played this. Uh, so when we play Blood Reaver, the minions that uh, the demons that it brings back, actually no, we summon quite few demons this game. Ooh, okay, never mind. Problem solved. Okay, let's play the Blood Reaver. Ah, taunt. Oh wait, never mind, you can get past the taunt. What am I talking about? Okay, he'll go ahead and get a free card, I guess. And whoa, it's a jade druid. <laughs> no, you don't do that. Is he just looking to be uh is just looking to be uh defensive by armoring up instead of Ah screw it. Let's let's not try and let's not try and analyze too much. Let's just assume that he's not very smart. Play this. And play this. Then we cheat out either the the Doom Caller or the Okay never mind we won. Oh wait, do we have lethal? Yeah we had lethal. We didn't even need to trade. Wait, did we have lethal? Ah oh, screw it. Too lazy to count. We won. That that's that's the that's the moral of the story, right? <clears throat> Looks like we'll have to throw away everything. There's no point keeping power overwhelming if you don't have a good start, because it'll just be a dead card in your hand. Hellfire is actually going to be really good here because as a hunter his board is very wide so it will uh, it will gain quite a lot of value because uh, it affects more minions right the Hellfire does 3 damage to more minions Let's play Kazakus. I mean, if that is freezing trap, I don't mind a second Kazakus. Five damage seems good. She gained seven armor. Since oh no, we have Reno in our hand, right? So it's, that's not big, too big of an issue. And wait, what did we some? Uh, I guess the two friendly minions could be good. Cause we summon the. Uh, the 2-1, the in-gang boss, and the 3-3. So the only bad outcome would be the 2-1. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and Hellfire here. And then we'll play this. We may need to Reno soon, because uh, Hunter can, can burst us down from quite a bit of a range. Right. He's gonna clear that. Nope, he isn't. Uh, so he has 5 damage in hand, so 
I think it's time. Okay, let's let's check for explosive traps first. That's a bear trap. No, it's neither. Okay, that's interesting. But uh, we're just gonna go and heal up here to play safe. So it's, I think it's a uh, snake trap or venomous strike. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Who's the aggro deck now? Ah, uh, that's funny. Hmm, wait, do we have Leto next turn if he doesn't do anything? Uh, yeah, we do, actually. Okay, looks like it's our turn, and then we win. Kaboom. Oh, it's actually one of the better outcomes. Oh, cat trick. Alright, okay. One of it was cat trick. But it doesn't matter now. Oh, 100% win rate. Out of a sample size of 5. Yeah, we'll keep experimenting with this deck, I guess. Seems to have potential. But then we did meet 3. I mean, the last one was slightly challenging, I guess. If we didn't draw the 7 mana... If we didn't draw the 7 mana 6-6 uh, six, six that dealt 3 damage to everything, we might have lost, right? Oh look, we have uh, 100 gold, so that means a pack. Alright, let's just go open the pack and end the video right here. It's not bad. I mean, it's just dust. I, I, I don't really care for golden cards. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad card opening. Let's just dust it now. <clears throat> oh man, we still have to search for the golden. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll just do it in my own time. Alright, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been uh, this this uh, Reno Demon Lock. Yes, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, goodbye.